YouTube, it's time to play some football on mybookie.ag, promo code HAM1. It's where we do our gambling. I can't wait for Sunday, guy. Check out our podcast down in the description below. We'll be talking about every game when the weekend is done. Here we go. Picking every game right now. Browns at Ravens, minus seven and a half. What do you think? Well, guy, I think the Browns offense much improved. Baker Mayfield takes a step. Baltimore Ravens come back to earth a little bit as a running team. Still a dominant, you know, 11-12 win team. I'm going Brown set plus seven and a half. Biggest game of the year last year for Baker Mayfield in terms of yardage was against Baltimore, but that was week four. It almost feels to me too easy to take Cleveland. Seven and a half is a lot of points. I think Baltimore looks like Kansas City did on Thursday night. I got the Ravens. Cam Newton's Patriots debut minus six and a half against the Dolphins. I don't know if there's any Patriots left from the week 17 debacle last year. John, what do you think? Guy, two things. Belichick's pissed off. Cam Newton's pissed off. Tired of losing to the Dolphins. I like the Patriots plus six and a half. Excuse me, minus six and a half. I wish they were plus six and a half. I'd take them as well. I like the Patriots too. Belichick's had a ton of success in his career against the quarterback Fitzpatrick, and the Dolphins are starting a rookie left tackle. Jets, Bills, minus six and a half. Stephon Diggs makes his debut. Here's a stat for you. 30 career touchdowns for Josh Allen. Only two of them have been 50-plus yards. Diggs had three 50-plus yard touchdowns last year alone. I like the Bills here. Well, I got a stat for you, guy. 15 touchdowns. That's Stephon Diggs last two years with Kirk Cousins. Now he's got a big-arm quarterback. Needs to work on his accuracy. Sean McDermott, Bills defense dominant. I think the Bills destroy the Jets. I like them minus 6.5. Outside of the game we picked on Monday night, Pittsburgh and New York, this, I think, could be the biggest point differential in the league this weekend. Raiders, Panthers, This was almost our lock of the weekend. We decided not to do it. I'd probably stay away from it. Minus three, though. If you're a playoff team like the Raiders need to be, you got to handle Carolina even if McCaffrey goes off. Guy, if $100 million can't buy John Gruden and Mark Davis and the Raiders a win against the Carolina Panthers, they're in shambles. I'm going to go out on a limb here. Must win for the Raiders. When you look at their schedule for a team that wants to make a wild card, I I got cash on this game. Raiders minus three. I think the Raiders win this game pretty easily. All right, John, Seattle and Atlanta, really a premium matchup that doesn't quite feel like one if you really watch Atlanta the last two weeks, two years, excuse me, when they won seven to nine, but it is. Minus two and a half Seattle. What do you think? Yeah, it almost feels too easy. Like Seattle's just going to go in there and kill them. Listen, I'm bald. Dan Quinn's bald. He pulled last year when they were terrible. Coaches' names out of a hat, and then they started winning. We saw him here in the Bay Area beat the 49ers. Julio Jones walk off. I don't necessarily like Atlanta to win the game, but plus two and a half. This game feels weird to me, guy. Matt Ryan gets a little mojo back. I like the Falcons plus two and a half. I I want to pick Seattle because I think Atlanta doesn't really get going until they're like four and eight. But yeah. maybe they get an early start this year. Um, I actually think they could win this game as much as I like Seattle. Uh, I do like Atlanta in the play. At least their GM has good hair. That's true. That's true. Washington, John, the football team, taking on the Eagles. Washington plus six. Um, uh, you know, over the last couple of years, you work for the Eagles. We talk about the Eagles all the time. We like them a lot. Uh, I don't know if I like them covering six points. It almost feels too obvious against Washington. A lot of weird things going on, right? A lot of injuries, lose your left tackle, question marks with the wide receiver. Well, Washington's core. running back going on up. too. Well, yeah, coach has cancer, owner's getting sued, the team doesn't have a name. Uh, my, my my number one reaction, don't bet this game. Agreed. If I did, I, I do think the Redskins could be sneaky early. I'd probably lean the Redskins plus six. I would. Don't feel good. I, I, if anything, I'd just hammer the under. I'd just take the under, under 43. This game feels like uh, 14 to three. Yeah, and Alshon, Jalen Rager just started practicing. Weird game. Chicago, Detroit. Uh, the Lions get Matt Stafford back. Easy to forget. First eight games when he was healthy last year, John, he was almost 315 yards passing. Chicago's secondary. They're starting a rookie. I like Jalen Johnson, but he's a rookie. I like the Lions here at home, minus two and a half. Yeah, I'm, I'm going the Bears. I think their defense gets their mojo back. I think they run the ball this year, something Matt Nagy, my guy, did not do a good job of last year. Don't love Trubisky at all. Can't believe I'm doing this, but I think defense – and I just bet against the Lions. I, I think you're always good if you bet against the Lions, bet against the Jaguars, teams like that. I feel good about it. Bears plus two and a half. Guys, the Bears went eight and eight last year. We act like they won three games. They went eight and eight. They, they've won 20 games the last two years. I like the Bears plus two and a half. They picked the wrong quarterback. Indian Jacksonville. 
Jacksonville plus eight, Indianapolis. To me, part of this game is not just whether they win it, but if they do, we could look up halfway through the season and they're leading their division by a couple of games. Their schedule really sets up for them coming up. Their team is really solid. If Phillip Rivers doesn't throw a pick in this game, it's a guaranteed cover. Yeah, I don't feel great about this because last year I thought he was shot. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt that he's still a functional quarterback because if he's just solid, the Colts are a what, 11-win team, 12-win team? Like, they could be really good. So I'll give him the benefit of the doubt week one. I'm subject to change. If he doesn't cover the spread, yeah. I'll go with the Colts minus eight. Can't wait to watch LaVisca Chenault, though, John. All right, Green Bay and Minnesota, plus two and a half. The Packers taking on the Minnesota Vikings. This was supposed to be the matchup of two of the best pass rushing combos in the league. The Smith brothers, uh, Ngakwe and Danelle Hunter combined for 46 and a half sacks. Not his teammates the last two years, but Hunter's out. A-Rod's mad, Middlecoff. I think Devontae Adams has a big game this week. Yeah, I'm with you. Usually quarterbacks in this system play better year two, right? Matt Ryan did it with Kyle Shanahan. Jared Goff year two with Sean McVay. I think Rodgers looks at Jordan Love every day, pretends to smile, pissed off inside. Him, Devontae Adams, MVS, Lazard, some of these guys. I like the Packers to win by a touchdown, plus two and a half lock. All right, Bengals, Joe Burrow debut. Not just Joe Burrow, T. Higgins debut against the Chargers, minus three on the road. I don't have a great feel for this, um, but I do if I take a step back. go. I think the Chargers are pretty good. I think the Bengals have a ways to go. So if I had to pick it, I'd go with the Chargers. Yeah, to me, if the Chargers don't win this game, it's probably because they have terrible quarterback play, and we're already starting to talk about Justin Herbert. If Tyrod Taylor is just decent, you know, the last time we saw him with Buffalo Bills, they're just a better team than the Chargers. Anthony Lynn, big winner in hard knocks. Seems like everyone, I'd want to be friends with that guy. Seems like a high-level guy. Uh, The Chargers should kick the Bengals' butt. Rookie quarterback, coach that doesn't look to be very good. Uh, I like the Chargers minus three in this game. We've talked about this game a ton. Last year, these games were close and the end, but they each took big leads over the other, and then someone came storming back. The Niners came storming back to win. The Cardinals in their game came storming back to just kind of make it look close, but the Niners won both games. like the Niners to win again. They are so beat up, uh, and Kyler Murray's a handful, so uh, I do like the Cardinals on the points. Yeah, and if you see you got to lay 120 to win 100, I mean, Debo's out. Ayuk, you know, probably going to be limited. Kittle, Juszczyk, all these guys have been banged up during camp. The Niners have a lot of injuries. I'm going to take the Niners to win the game. Seven points a lot. Kyler Murray, exceptional player. You add Hopkins. You see him tweeting about the Texans getting their ass kicked. He's happy. Uh, I don't know if the Cardinals' defense is any good. You'd think Raheem Mozart. McKinnon, Kyle Shanahan, who, whoever he's throwing back there should gash him. But the little mighty might, the little quarterback, man, he's good. Uh, I, I like Cardinals plus seven. Isaiah Simmons debut. They invested as well in that defensive line a little bit. Tampa Bay, New Orleans, Saints minus three and a half. Brady, for the first time since late 2014, is not favored in a start. A crazy uh, run that comes to an end in this game. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, emotionally, I want to pick Tampa. Love TB12, love Bruce Arians. But if you take the emotion out of it and you just bet practically, the Saints have been together a long period of time. They've been operating the coach and the quarterback forever. They speak the same language. There is no question mark about anything they're going to do. They know what works. They know what doesn't work. Alvin Kamara, Michael Thomas, good players on defense. The the Saints should win this game. I like them minus three and a half. I'm going to take the Saints as well, but the whole time I'm going to be rooting to be wrong. I mean, how special would it be if Tom Brady comes in here and wins the game? Between Between the two of them, how old are they? Uh, 83 guy. 83, 83 years old. That's a lot of quarterbacking experience. That, just say they're 83. That, that's insane. This is the NFL. Guy, this isn't, they're not just 83. This is probably the best game on paper of the weekend, and we're talking about a quarterbacks. Their age adds up to 83, and both of them, their age starts with a four. It's not like one guy's 45 and the other guy's, you know, 37. This guy, it's 40 and 43. It's crazy. What are the Niners in our, uh, if the Niners... What's the Niners Cardinals head coach's ages add up to? Well, yeah, it's probably similar. It might be younger. (laughs) All right, John. Finally, uh, as I look that up, we got Sunday night football. Hell of a Sunday night game. I can't wait. But I like the Rams plus three. I think they're getting undervalued. I think both these two teams end up in the playoffs. Uh, The Rams is a wild card. I think the Cowboys could win the division. I think the Rams are better than people give them credit for. Have somewhat of a flawed roster. 
but they're like an NBA team with some elite players offensively. Robert Woods, Cooper Cup, that Vance Jefferson, the rookie, looks awesome. Jared Goff, I think, is going to bounce back. Akers, the running back. I like the Rams guy, plus three at home. Uh, the $7 billion stadium, five? Billion? Five. Five. Six. five. Um, Kyle Shanahan is 40. Cliff Kingsbury is 41. So the so Niners younger. Cardinals coaching matchup is younger than the Bucks Saints quarterback matchup. I, I cannot wait to watch Dak. Bigger impact player this year, CeeDee Lamb or Amari Cooper? I tend to lead CeeDee Lamb. I just think he's a better player. I think Amari is getting undervalued a little bit too, but I think CeeDee is going to be big. This is the McVay golf renaissance tour. It begins today. And like you, I love the Cowboys. I can't wait to watch them, but I feel the same way about the Rams. Football's back. Let's get it on. MyBookie.ag promo code HAM1.